Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these cherry seed beads earrings. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell for more similar absolutely free content. Check description for a full list of materials, other useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Please like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for these actions, guys. You might also want to support me in PayPal by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 0 seed beads, red, green and light green. Here I'm also using two 6mm pearls. These are earring findings in silver color. I use a pin, it's not obligatory, but I find that it's easier for me to work with the pin. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3mm or size D. I use size 11 beading needle, you could use size 12 as well. With size 10 it is, it will still work but it will be a little bit more difficult and you should use your pliers probably. And these are scissors and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm going to start my work by picking up four red beads and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. I make a loop, I go twice through the loop I've made. Then I pull and I want to make just one more knot to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay, and after that I go in the next red bead. And I have this beautiful cross of four beads for the middle of my work. Now I'm going to take one red bead and I go in the next red. One more red. Go in the next red one. And I will repeat it two more times until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this. And in my next step I'm going in one of the beads that are sticking out the most. And what I'm going to do next is add two beads here and go through the next bead that is sticking out the most. And now in these steps guys I increase. Now in this row I will add eight beads. In the previous two rows I had four beads. Now I will add eight two by two from each of the four sides of my work. Okay, now I have this. In my next step, guys, I will also add eight, eight beads, but I will add them one by one. Not like I did now two by two, but one by one. Okay, here I take one and I go in the next bead that is sticking out. One again. And I will continue this until the end of this row, until I have 8 beads added. And 
And this guy is called Peyote Stitch. It's not difficult as you may see. Now in order to start a next row, I need to go in the following bead that is sticking out. Okay. Then I will continue by adding again 8 beads, filling each gap that I have here. This is the second row with 8 single beads that I'm adding. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and I'm here at the last step of this row where I'm adding the 8 single bead and you see how easy it is. Then I go in the next one that is sticking out the most and I will start another row absolutely the same way. Okay guys, and by this point you will notice that your work will st start bending. You pull like this and it starts bending. Now in order to start your next row, you should go through the following bead here. Okay. And in my next step guys, what I want to do is to take my pin and I want to go here through this central hole of my work. Okay, you see, this is what I do. And then I'm going to take my pearl and I put it here inside. And when I pull, this is what I have. Okay, and in my next row, guys, I'm going to continue the same thing that I was showing all the time. Just go and fill in the gaps between my beads. Okay, and after I finish this row of 8 single beads, I will make another row of 8 single beads and I'll be back to show you how we continue. Okay guys, and now I'm finishing my 5th row with 8 single beads. Okay, here is the last bead that I'm adding from the 5th row. Okay. And when I add it, in order to continue, I should go in the next bead and step up in a next row like I did before. At each 8 step, I step up in the next row. Okay? Now, what I want to do here is again to decrease my work and go back to a row with 4 beads. Because I repeat what I had in the beginning to close my work. And how I do this? I take a red bead and 
now as I'm exiting from this bead that is sticking out I go through the next two that are sticking out pay attention not through one but through two that are sticking out and I pull take again one and go through two that are sticking out in one movement one more and go through the following two that are sticking out one more and go through the next two that are sticking out and I pull and now what I have here guys are four red beads that are sticking to the inner side more than the others and what I'm going to do is that I will go through one of those beads that are sticking out like this and I will take one red go in the next that is sticking out okay turn my work and I'm just connecting at this step the beads that are sticking out they are four I just connected two and here is the last one which was the first one that I started this sequence from and when I pull you see what I have this is absolutely the same thing that I have from the other side and now I need to do an additional step of reinforcement I want to go through the four inner beads here connect them like this Okay, then I have this and I'm going to take one middle green bead and as I'm exiting from one of the reds I go in the other one and pull then again I go here in this direction And I go again through this green bead. Okay, now I have this. And what I did here off camera, guys, is that I added 20 green beads. Then I'm taking two more green beads. And I'm going back in circle through these two. Okay, I have this, then I go in this direction, take two more green beads and I go through the previous two here. Then I go like this. And I'm exiting here through three green beads. Take two light green beads. Go back in circle through this green one.
exit through one of the light green beads and go backwards through the other one. If you are not familiar, this is called herringbone stitch. It's really easy. Take two again and go like this. Like this. And one more row of herringbone. Okay, then I take three dark green beads and I go here through one of the light greens, pull, go through all of those in this direction. Then here through this one and take five dark green beads, go here, five again. Go backwards through this bead here that we started the whole leaf from. Now I'm going here through the following green bead. And I'm taking a green bead, my earring finding and a green bead. And I'm going in this next neighbor green one. Okay. Then I'm going backwards in this direction. Reinforcing this joint here that I have. And I exit here from this bead. Now guys, I'm going to repeat this leaf the same way that I showed you. I will do this off camera and I'll be back. Now I'm here guys where I just did this beaded leaf and I did it the same way like this one here. If you forget how I'm doing it just rewind the video and repeat these steps from this side. And now what I want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this the familiar way I make a loop between some of the beads between two of the beads, go twice through the loop I've made and I pull and after I pull I go through some beads in this direction I try to hide the knot under my beads by pulling it and I cut my thread Okay. Now guys, what I'm going to do is to make another cherry like this one. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and repeat all of those steps to make another cherry and 
this green bead here as well next to the cherry and I'll be back okay guys and off camera I need I did another peyote cherry up until here and now I'm going to pick up 12 green beads okay and here I have 12 green beads and I'm going to slide those down just like this then I'm going to take the other part of my work if you remember this part and what I do here guys is just connect both parts I'm going here in this direction through some of my beads now what I want to do is to find the place to make a knot I will go here through some beads and I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread okay and now my beaded cherry earring is ready okay guys so now my beaded cherry earrings with peyote stitch are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't in this way you will know when i make similar content to this one usually two or three times a week and you will be inspired often thank to all of you that like share and comment this is a great and amazing support and i can't thank you enough for these actions check description for useful resources and a facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button thank you for staying here with me until the end now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching